Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Dredge, where today we're just going to take things a little bit easier I think, we're just going to have a lovely relaxing time of things. We did do quite a lot last time, we activated the big wibbly machine that upset the tentacle monster and then we had to go directly over where the big tentacle monster is and we had to do some fishing and pick up various bits and bobs, we grabbed a fish for the researcher and of course we did pick up the treasure that the collector was after and that was a little bit nerve wracking, being over the big terrifying tentacle monster was a little Little bit scary so today we're just gonna have a lovely relaxing time I think we've earned a little bit of a break one thing we could do with going out to find is some cloth because with that we can then go and do some more boaty upgrades so I think it's what about half four in the evening I would say or late afternoon early evening so maybe we should head out right now and just pop over there maybe and if we can't find cloth we can grab some fish and we can make a little bit more money because of course money is always going to be handy so if we head out over in that direction I think. We'll pop out over here. Right, can we see any resources? I'm not entirely sure. No. Okay, do you know what? We'll head out maybe over... Hang on, hang on. Where's the spyglass? Spyglass, come here. Is there anything worth grabbing over there? Hammerhead sharks. They are actually worth quite a lot of money. Uh, oh, we're carrying around our two fish uh, uh, crab pot thing, sorry. Maybe we should go and um, maybe we should possibly drop them off as well somewhere around here. If we're going to be around here for a little while, that would make sense. But let's go over here. Look, we can make some good money off you. So, right, just grab one of these. Boop and boop and boop. Um, okay. Oh, oh, a gazing shark. It's a special one. Oh, we need to do some, um, we need to do some, uh, yes, inventory Tetris with that. Hang on a second. We need to tuck that away into the corner somewhere. Um, right, hang on. Oh, that thing is fascinatingly weird. It's got two great big kind of eyes on the end of the hammer bit. Uh, what does it say? Huge bulbous eyes move about on large fleshy stalks, siphoning energy from its body. Its search is not over. What does that mean? That's all a bit weird. That thing is very, very odd. Okay, that's really strange. Um, okay, right, so let's go back that way then. Uh, I mean, let's just drop off. There's the thing. We'll drop the crab pots off over here. We'll just drop them off over there. We might thought it's getting a bit dark and we don't like it. Um... I don't know. Hang on. We'll get a crab pot ready. So a crab pot. I mean, that's quite deep. That's quite deep. We'll drop one crab pot there, for example. That one there. So the large one can go there. And then the other one can go, I don't know, over here somewhere. That'll do. 2.4 2 metres. Do you know what? We'll put it there anyway. That'll do the job. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. It'll catch little uh, less exciting crabs, I imagine. But do you know what? It's all fine. Right. Pop back into the dock. There we go. Hello. Nice and safe. We like it over here. Uh, right, over to the fish market. We can get... How much? That's worth 522 monies. Oh my goodness me. That thing is absolutely fantastic. Um, yes, you can have that. You're very welcome to that. We will have a huge pile of money, thank you. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. That's very exciting. Um, okay, hang on. Can we um, put those into storage? because we might as well, uh, and then come out of this. Uh, so let's have a look at the shipyard. Is there anything else we could possibly buy while we're here? Because, yeah, it's about 8 o'clock now, so is it worth... Ah, you have another jet drive engine. And maybe by the time tomorrow rolls around, you'll have another one, so we could get rid of another one of these. So we're going to be a bit slow for a while, but then eventually, yes, we can get two of those in, and that's going to make us a bit quicker. I like that. I like putting these things in. So how about we uninstall, hang on, uninstall that for now. And then can, can we just sell it? We don't really need that. So just sell that thing. Right. So a little bit of money comes back in. And then we will have that jet drive engine. Thank you very much. Pop that into there. Not long to install. That's very good. And then, I mean, we could, we could with that money we got from the hammerhead shark buy a couple of research parts. That's going to be about 600 monies. I mean, that shark pays for those, and that'll give us quite a lot, and we can go and unlock some more bits and bobs. Do you know what? Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. I don't know how many of those we've got, but there we go. I don't think we necessarily need the refined metal right now. I think we've got a bit of that in storage. Two bits of that. Okay, right. So I think that'll do for buying stuff from you for now. So in terms of research, what do we actually want to go for? So, I mean, that's looking very good. We've got five research spots. We could research all of the rods. We could get that final one done down there, the harvesting platform. That's a 132% fishing speed increase. That's very good. Coastal, shallow, and oceanic. 
So I think, what have we got now? That one. Coastal, shallow, and oceanic. Oh, but that one means we can't do mangrove and volcanic. Oh, okay, right. So we'd have to keep sort of switching things around. Do you know what? No, I like that. I like that. I like the versatile rod because that's really, really handy to have. So engine wise, I'm not that bothered. I'm not that bothered about these. Pots, I suppose that could be useful. That could be handy. That's a good way of making some easy money. Just drop them and leave them for a bit. Or we could look at getting a new net. So that allows... Oh, here we go. Here we go. That allows us to fish in... Oh, to do net catching in volcanic areas. So I assume, yeah, the net's mesh has been treated to resist high temperatures. And that one is to do with mangroves. Okay, so that's not going to get tangled up in all the kind of silt and mangrove root things. Okay, right. We've got that one. Or do we go for that one? That's the heavy duty trawl nets. So that can pick up quite a lot of stuff. I think, I think, unless something else comes along that's, I don't know, another kind of research topic or something, another research area, we just get these. Let's get that done and get that done. And we'll slowly but surely start researching everything. We might as well. So let's get that done. I don't really want one of those, but do you know what? It might be useful at some points. There we go. They're now available. And then, I don't know, let's research a complex crab pot. I don't know how complex one of those could be, but okay. Or a massive crab pot. Um, and then we can get that big old thing at the end there. Do you know what? We'll get a complex one for now. So there we go. All the research parts are done. That's pretty good. Um, and then I think, in terms of the floating dock, I think we've loaded everything up with wood, haven't we? Yeah, look, that's what we need. We need the cloth to do that and cloth and metal to do that. So we haven't got any use for the wood we've got hanging around, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. Um, okay, right, let's run time on. Let's have a lovely night's nice sleep and not be terrified by all sorts of beasties. And then we'll head back out again. I mean, yeah, what do we need to find in terms of some of our mission things? Hang on. So what was it? What did, what did you want? A blue crab. So, yeah, the definitely not a cultist wearing gold wanted a blue crab. Oh, yes. And then there were the two, um, the two kind of stone thingamajigs where you put the fish in or the crabs, as one of them is. Um, and then you have to try and fit them in. It might be worth having a little look around those places again, just to see if we can find the fish to, you know, complete those little kind of puzzles. Because that would be quite good. And then, yeah, if we could find an oarfish or a tigerfish or a coelacanth, that would be amazing as well. I think to catch, particularly the coelacanth or something, we're going to have to come all the way out here. It's going to be right out in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? It's going to be right near the boundaries of where we can go. Because that's what this game does. It makes you go away from safety and into scary places. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. This is all fine. So are we reading a book? I don't think we have a book to read. No, okay, no books to read, that's all fine. Uh, let's head out in search of resources then. So let's kind of go maybe around here. Look, is there anything around the back of here? Is that a resource or is that fish? That's fish. Uh, okay, we'll head past that terrifying thing just there. We're not going to go near you, monstery face. Um, yeah, I see you glistening, trying to draw us in and then eat us. I see you. Uh, anything over there? Uh, no, that's... Although... Although, is that another shark type thing? It might be worth grabbing. Oh yes, hammerhead shark. And we will have the fancy one. Thank you very much. It's a trophy hammerhead shark. They're quite big, aren't they, those things? They're very, very big. Um, okay, I mean, I'm tempted to go just round this island and then just go back to the thing and sell that on because it's going to take up loads of room. But, uh, okay, let's see if we can find anything else. There must be some resources somewhere floating about. There's normally loads of stuff hanging around. There. What's that? That is... Oh, that's bits of wood. We've got loads of wood. Wood is the thing that we don't need. Oh, what's that? That's some more wood. This is disappointing. Where's anything else? Where are the other resources? Metal and cloth and shiny trinkets. Okay, I didn't find anything going around that island, which was a little bit disappointing, if I'm honest. Oh, we sort of crashed the boat into the dock while trying to dock in a very weird way. Um, but yeah, I did catch a few fish on the way back as well. So, um, yeah, can we... Oh, I've gone to the wrong bit. Hang on a minute. Fish market. There we go. Um, sell that for another 327. That's very good. Have you stocked up on engines yet? Have you had an engine delivery? Yes, you have. Perfect. We will take that engine. Thank you very much. And we'll pop that into there. Get that fitted. That's looking pretty good. 
we've got quite a lot of jet drive engines going on. So now if we replace that, so that's 15.8 knots, and they can get up to so what we have, 19. So if, if we replace that one eventually, we should be able to get another four knots out of it. So up to what, about 87 knots, I think, possibly. I do want to get the lights upgraded as well, because our lights are pretty feeble right now. So I think, let's then go that way. We went one way and didn't find anything exciting. Let's head out this way and see if we can find any resources over here, possibly. That would be quite good. And then we do need to go and check the um, the crab pots as well. That could be quite good. There. What's that? If that's some wood, I'm going to be a bit sad. It is some wood, and now I'm a bit sad. Okay, but hang on. There's got to be something else. There's got to be something else. Come on, give us some shiny, shiny goodies. Uh, no, that's, um, that's some fish over there. That is... Is that another hammerhead shark? That's another hammerhead shark. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, there's little weird... What are those little weird things? Can we catch some of these? Oh. Hang on a minute. We had to go a bajillion miles away to catch these, didn't we? Didn't we have to go really far away to catch those? Were they there all along? Was that the thing that we had to go really far out to catch? Don't tell me it is. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Do you know what? Let's grab a few of these whilst we're here. We might as well. Oh, okay. A perished one. Yeah, I think we've seen that before. A few ragged scraps of skin hang like cobwebs from its fins. Its exposed muscles are riddled with small white worms. Oh, however... We will have a fancy one, and thank you very much. We'll have a trophy one of those. That's exciting as well. And then just gravity grab the final one, I imagine. Crikey, there's loads around here. I think we can fit another couple in. Ah, there we go. Wonderful. That should make us a nice bit of money as well. Terrifying visions are happening. Oh, yeah, we've been fishing way too long. Um, okay, right. Hang on a second. Pause time. Put the map on. Which direction? Right, follow this round. So that's on our left, and we'll find our way back to the... Oh, no, there's terrifying things. Just follow this on the left. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. It's all good. I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared of the wibbly things. I'm not scared of the wibbly things. But that's where we want to go. We can see We can see our destination. The panic at the top is very panicky right now. <laughs> We're having a full-on panic. Come on, just get over there. There was a weird sort of uh, twirly thing with Bob going on there, but we don't care about that. We're just going to come in here, have a lovely cup of tea, and a sit down. It's all going to be fun. Right, all of that. So yeah, sell that for not that much money, really, for what it was. Okay, right, uh, go to bed, go to bed. Oh, and crab pots. Yeah, we'll check the um, we'll check the crab pots, actually. So a brand new day. Let us pop round here. Uh, right, where was... Where was the deep crab pot? Right, that one is there. So what have you got for us over here, crab pot, that I think might need repairing? So a couple of spiny lobsters. Okay, so pick up the crab pot, because I think it is a bit broken. And over here, what do you have for us? You've... Blue crabs! That's what we need for the... The hungry, definitely not a cultist. Blue crabs! They were right here. Okay, pick that up because it's very broken. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay, we can now go and do that. And we'll see what they give us. I imagine it's going to be a book because the other person gave us a book. But the books are really good in this game. Uh, okay, fish market. Do not sell all of these. Sell that. Yes, sell that. And that and that. But don't sell the other one. Keep that on board. That's good. I and mean, they're not worth very much money. Uh, go to the shipyard. And repair all those things. So get all that done. So now they're back up and running. That's quite good. We'll drop them off on the way. Um, and then, have you got another engine in? Yes, you have. Okay, right. So sell that. Wonderful. Pick up that jet drive engine. Install that in. And wonderful. Okay, so we're now nearly up to as fast as we can go with these jet drive engines. Which is good. I like that. I'm all, I'm all for that. That's all good. Uh, right. Let's go and have a chat. It was you over there, wasn't it? So that was where one of the weird things was with the... Was that one wanting like... Oh, yeah, I put the sturgeon there, but it wasn't sturgeon. So maybe I'll have a little fish around here to try and find a fish that looks like the ones on that stone thing. Yeah, we'll go there first. We'll go right there. So kind of head out of the Stella Basin and then go to that big island and give that person their fish. And that'll be another thing kind of crossed off, which is going to be good. Okay, right, it's very early in the morning. We're moving relatively quickly. 
we're moving okay. So let's just get over here. If we do happen across any kind of cloth or whatever, that would be useful. But really the main goal now is heading over to find the definitely not a cultist and giving them this uh, this crab they're so desperately, desperately want. And I, I mean, really, we know what's going to happen. They're going to get it and then they're going to tear its heart out and eat its heart because that's what they tend to do because they're a bit weird like that. But OK, this is all fine. So let's head over there and give them a crab. There's dolphins. Look, there are dolphins underneath the boat. Hello, dolphins. We're not going to crash into you because that will be bad. Oh, look, they jump out the water. <laughs> that's very exciting. OK, I do like that. That's very good. Um, oh, what's that? Have we caught one of these before? We're going to give it a go. A ghost shark. Uh, yeah, we have caught one of those before. I'm fairly certain we've caught those before. In fact, a few people did say they thought the ghost sharks were what should go on the um, stone tablet thing. Maybe we can have a look at that in a second. Hang on. Um, let's go down here so we know where they are. So ghost sharks are over there. I think Chappy is in here, isn't he? Yeah, hello. Do you know what? Oh, it's your lucky day. We randomly caught a blue crab completely at random. It was just that they happened to be near where we were, which was handy. Sense an opening. They unfurl the final scroll. Blue crab. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, rotate it round. Put it like that. They crack and bend the crab's legs apart and feast on the flesh inside. Oh, not just the heart. Oh, you had the entire crab. Okay. Ah, right. Advanced fishing. Lips still covered in crab flesh. They take a book from inside their robe and hand it to you. Uh, could have, I could have waited until you'd finished eating. Answer given. We await summons. They cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. Okay. They're still a bit weird, aren't they? Uh, right. So what is this? Advanced fishing. Okay. We will begin reading that. I imagine that is going to be quite useful indeed. And then I think... Think. Ah, right, hang on a second. On the map, on the map, do we then get rid of that marker? Because I think they're done. I think that's now done. We don't need to go back there again. So remove that marker. And then if we go straight ahead, I think the stone thing is over there. But where were the ghost sharks, whatever they are? Is that them there? Are these the ghost sharks? It might. Well, yeah, these things. OK, so grab a few of these. If we could find four, that would be fantastic. But that's been depleted. That's a bit of a nuisance. Um, okay, get the spyglass. Have we got any of the ghost sharks? Right, ah, there's the stone thing that we're after. Any of the ghost sharks? Is that even the right thing? I might be just barking up the wrong tree. Let's go and have a look, Troy. Where is the stone thing? It's not... Hang on. Uh, it's on here, apparently. Oh, there it is. It's right there in front of me. Just couldn't see it. So yeah, do they look like ghost sharks? Let's go and have a little look, shall we? So pop over to that thing. So, hello, how are you? Uh, right, do they look like ghost sharks? I don't think they necessarily do. Look, they've got kind of, they haven't got the right tail for them, I don't think. They've not got the right tail. Although, they do sort of fit into those gaps a bit like that. But they're not going to fill it up. I think the idea is you're spo it's supposed to be f entirely full, isn't it? The thing is supposed to be entirely full. Um, I mean, okay, can we find anything else around here that looks like it might fit into there? Uh, let's have a quick nosy about. Uh, I don't think it's loose jaws. Fairly certain it's not those. I think those things are going to stay there as well. More loose jaws around. Uh, what's that? Hang on. Hang on. There was something there. Red snappers. Definitely not those. It's not fang tooths. Fang teeth. Uh, it's not barracudas. Not red snappers. Anything out in the in the great wilderness over there, possibly? Red snappers. And the barrel eye. Okay, anything over there, look. Uh, what was that? There was something there then that could be interesting. A blackfin tuna. Uh, is it? It doesn't look... The shape doesn't resemble the thing we're looking for. Uh, no, I can't. Oh, hang on. What was that? What was that? There was another blackfin tuna. Right. So I don't know where we can get the rest of the fish from for that. We'll try ghost sharks. I'm not entirely convinced that's what we're looking for. What's that over there? An anglerfish. Do you know what? Let's get an anglerfish. Let's go and grab a few of those, shall we? We'll go and do a little bit of this. A uh, little bit of fishing. Not too much, actually, because it is going to get a bit late. But yeah, we'll grab a few. Sell them on. Maybe buy some more lovely things. That'll be fun. 
we might possibly just grab what time is it? I think we can afford to get one more and then it's going to be a bit late uh whoa, could we get another one Joe you know what oh a fancy one yeah we'll have the fancy one thank you so boop there we go wonderful uh we can't hang on we can't fit it in yes we can perfect and now we're gonna go back to the lovely safe pontoon if i can figure out where it is i think it's over there i think we're gonna be fine yep let's head over in that direction it's all gonna be good okay there it is hello lovely pontoon how are you we're very happy to see you it's a bit scary out there right now there's a lot going on many weird things are happening uh, but you know what we did give a guy a, um, a crab and he was very happy about that so that's quite good right fish market we can now sell all of that for a lovely bit of money wonderful and have you topped up on your engines by any chance uh have you got yes we will have one of those for 255 of your monies. Thank you very much. You install that. We can now go at 86.1 knots. That seems quite good to me. That seems pretty good. That seems very good indeed. Right, okay. So go to bed. Have a bit of a rest. And then do we now need to head out and get some more ghost shark thingamajigs and try and fit them into that puzzle? I don't think they are what we're looking for because you have to fit everything's got to fit in sort of you know, nicely and they were too small i think but if we undock just head over there if we look over here because there's quite a lot around here so red snappers angler fish there's a hammerhead shark it's definitely not a hammerhead shark that we're looking for it's not barrel eyes they kind of are sort of bent a bit round to so angler fish because that'd be really obvious uh what was that all the way over there there was something very far away. Oh, another hammerhead shot. Uh, okay. I don't know if I can see what we're looking for over in that direction. There's barracudas and things. Uh, right, maybe we'll head back to where we just were and see if the ghost sharks have kind of yeah, replenished in stock or whatever. We'll try and grab them. And then we're still on the hunt for cloth. We're still on the hunt for cloth. We haven't found any cloth at all. Anything around here? Barracudas uh one of those sort of really colorful fish no nothing much going on okay never mind aha there are some ghost sharks over there okay so in that direction sort of head over there if we could catch two of those that would be handy that would be really useful so we'll make our way over there i don't think they were that far away although in this game it's quite hard to tell isn't it are these the ghost sharks it could be just here i think maybe it's just here right please be yeah, there we go wonderful please have at least two of these because that would be really handy. Right, so one there. And then boop. And then boop. And that's depleted. Okay. So they only come in two. So it would sort of make sense for there to be... Yeah, you know, for it to be these. Because then, yeah, there's only four of them around. It's quite hard to find them. So they come in pairs by the look of it. So if we head back over here, is it going to be ghost sharks? I'm not entirely convinced it is. I don't think it is. Because... I don't think they've got the right tails. But you know what? It's worth a go, isn't it? It's worth also not crashing into the thing in the first place. Um, so yeah, if we put one like that. Um, although, I mean, yeah, they sort of they could look a bit... It could be these. It could be these. Uh, I mean, do you just put them in any old how? No, I don't think they're... I don't think they're big enough. I don't think they're big enough. However, they do stay fresh in there. They stay fresh in the rock slabs. As if by magic. I don't quite know how that works. Yeah, I don't know what they are. There's going to be some other fish that fits that. It's going to be some other thing. I mean, yeah, they've got a big... Kind of Can we look? Hang on. Could we have a nosy through the encyclopedia? Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance. I was kind of hoping to keep that open and look through the encyclopedia. But, um, okay, never mind. Right, let's just flick through this. Because we could maybe find what we're looking for by just having a look through all the things that we've already discovered. Um, yeah, Joe, let's have a quick look through. Can we find anything that looks a bit like what we're after? Hang on, come out of that a second. Four large, powerful fish shapes. So large and powerful. Right, okay, so have we got any fish that are large and powerful? I mean, it could potentially be the blackmouth salmon, but then there are only three in size. I'm expecting something really big, so it only just kind of fits into that grid. Uh, okay, let's keep sort of uh, let's keep looking through. Can we find anything? It might be something that we've not happened across yet, which is entirely possible. So let's just go and have a quick look. I wonder if maybe it's a bronze whaler. It could possibly be one of those because they do seem to have the right tail 
and the right kind of, you know, sort of, I don't know, mouth, face, shape, if you can say that. So that looks about right. And they've got one big fin on the back. So is that about right? They've got a fin, that bit there, and the mouth sort of looks okay. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. But I couldn't really find anything else that sort of looked a bit like it. There are many, many pages of fish. We've caught, out of everything, we've discovered 65 types of fish out of the 138 types that are in the game. That's quite a lot. I think that does take into account all the different kind of aberrations and such like. So yeah, there's a few to go for us to get to 138. But uh, yeah, we've got many. I mean, look, we haven't caught that yet. That looks completely terrifying. That's got to be some sort of crab monster type thing, hasn't it? So I think what we'll do is... What we'll do is, that's clearly not what we have to do. That's not right. Let's, if I hang on, back to there. We'll take all those back out. So can we fit these in the boat? That would be good if we could, because they're all fresh. That, you know, the rock slab keeps them fresh, which is handy. I think what we'll do is, we've got our two crab pots on board. So let's head back over to that place over there. I've completely forgotten the name of. Gale Cliffs, that's it. We'll head over to the Gale Cliffs. And around the back of there was another one of those stone slab things, which require crabs, I think. So if we just have a look at that and see if we can identify what crabs they might be after, that could be quite helpful. And then maybe while we're over here, we might be able to pick up a few bits and bobs like cloth and other stuff as well. I'm not going to hold my breath, but maybe we could possibly happen across a few useful resources here and there. Okay, here we are at Gale Cliffs. There's some more wood over there. We don't need wood. That's the one thing that we don't need. All various kind of rockfall things are happening. That's all getting quite bad. Um, I think for now, what we'll do is we've just arrived. So that's all good. And we're in one piece. That's even better. So pull up at the dock. Hello there, how are you over here? We keep bumping into each other, how very mysterious, travelling merchant. Uh, right, got those fish, sell them on for a decent amount of cash, actually that's pretty good. And then, we will have a bit of a, a bit of a rest, so go to bed, there we go, so rest until dawn, that's all good. That was quite a long sleep, I think. That was quite a long sleep. And then, we'll head around the back of here, so go nice and early, head around the back, because I think... We should be able to get to that kind of uh, stone slab thing this way. I think it was round here. And any resources would also be greatly received. Um, but nope, there's some fish over there. That's... Oh, hang on. That's wood. That isn't wood. Is that wood? Uh, no, that's cloth. Oh, no, that's metal, apparently. Okay, this is good because we need some of that as well. That and cloth are really, really handy. So we'll grab a bit of that. That's perfect. Grab another bit, because it's all useful stuff. Oh, yeah, now it does look like kind of big sheets of metal. It does look like that. Do you know what? We'll have another one as well, because the more we can get, the more things we can do. This is all good. That's nice and simple. Right, three bits there. That's really handy. That's really good. That means we can go and do some more things. That, I think, is... I oh, know that might be cloth. That, there's cloth. Oh, yes, this is perfect. Okay, no, this is good. We've got to do that. Oh, that's a bit of a... Very quick bit there that you have to dodge around while you're dredging, but that's fine. Um, oh, and there's going to be multiple bits. This is perfect. Okay, we can do some boaty upgrades in a second. That's quite good. So there we go. Get all that done. Uh, we can get another bit. This is excellent news. So once we've done the two final upgrades that we've got available right now, we can then go on to the last big boat upgrade as well, which would be good. It'd be great if we could get that in. Uh, right, head around here then. So now we've got that done. Anything else we can grab? I don't quite know what that is. Uh, right, okay, where's the stone slab thing over here? And we'll put a marker on it as well. We'll pop a little marker on it. Something weird going on over there. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Where is it? There it is, right there. Okay, so what exactly do you want? Let's go and have a little look. So you break through the ways of base of the cliff. Three crab-like creatures. Okay, so hang on. One, two, three, four. There, there's only eight spaces. Which is what confuses me. So do, do you have to fill that up? Or do you just have to put the right kind of fish into it? The right crab in this case? Because, yeah, if it requires three things to go in it, and there's eight spaces, they obviously can't fit equally. So I don't quite know how we do that. So three crab-like creatures. I mean, right there, that looks... I mean, that looks a little bit terrifying, if I'm honest. I mean, do we just try and put three regular crabs down? The largest is covered in rocks and other strange shapes. Oh, okay. So hang on. Do we have to put one big crab in and then 
two regular crabs? Is there like a special crab that takes up six and just two regular ones at the top maybe? So a regular little crab there and one there and then a big one in the middle. It's covered in rocks and other strange shapes. Um, I mean these are these are a bit of a mystery these things aren't they? So let's go to uh, there. So a crab pot. Okay so we'll put one there. 5.9 meters. That seems absolutely fine. Yay for that. Another one can go a bit deeper. If we could just get it, yeah, let's, I don't know, let's put it out over, can we get it 20 meters? There we go. Drop that down to there. And then we'll pop back, I think, and just see what that's got for us. Maybe we'll just see what's going on with that. Um, oh, oh, reverse, reverse. Terrifying thing happening. Terrifying thing. Uh, we, we're not going to go around there. We're going to go this way. In fact, there's our favorite little kind of hiding spot over there. We're going to hide over there. Um, because we're just a bit scared. We're just a bit frightened, really. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pop into here and then just hide until the morning. There we go. Let's just uh, have a bit of rest at the makeshift dock. Thank you, makeshift dock. Right, brand new day. Day 65. We are getting through the days, aren't we? So if we then head through the middle here, we might be able to find a few useful things. There is, of course, the threat of the gigantic, big, terrifying monster coming our way. I don't quite know where that is. I suspect it's going to creep up on us at some point and scare us. But there we go. Um, oh, what is that just there? Can we grab that really quickly without being attacked by a gigantic monster? That'd be really good if we could. We can fit that in the boat. That's We can fit two more lots in. Let's try and do this as quick as we can. Our dredging sort of stuff is pretty quick now. Uh, yeah, we'll have one more. Perfect. Right, quickly grab this. Quick, 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 quick. This is really easy. There's only one thing on that kind of inner wheel there. Right, that is absolutely fantastic. We're going to head round here, not crash into the rocks. There is some wood there if we need it, although we have got enough wood right now. Let's go and let's not crash into that kind of um, water spout thingamajig. Let's go back over here and let's do some boat upgrades. This is going to be wonderful. Right, floating dock over here bit of fabric and that means we can purchase what's that two extra kind of rod slots we don't need that particularly but we shall have that and four storage spaces that's going to be really helpful that's going to be wonderful right 300 money we've got plenty of money okay and now we can get the tier four hull upgrade this is absolutely fantabulous right okay so bits of metal going in chuck those in uh, in fact, it's only three bits. Okay, we can put that into storage and then go over to storage. Bits of wood that we've just got kind of hanging around. We've got the right amount of bits of wood. That's perfect. Two bits of the refined metal and we need three. Okay, that's okay. We can find another one of those. And then, yeah, four bits of cloth. So the current thing we're struggling with is cloth. It's one and a half thousand monies to get the final boat upgrade okay so we're done there then if we do that it's an extra 15 cargo spaces and it can take another hit that would be absolutely incredible and then we've got all these things down here as well which is also very exciting I mean, yeah that thing there more light space that'd be really good that would be good so we can buy the big kind of fancy lights i think at the moment uh where are we go to the shipyard in terms of lights we've only got kind of that there so we can't we can't get the big kind of fancy light like that because it, it can't bend around the corner, which is a bit of a shame. We could possibly buy a cloudy lens and just pop that in for another little bit of light. I suppose we could just drop one of those in. Do you know what? Why not? Eh? Let's do that. Let's get ourselves another bit of light just to make things a bit brighter around here. That's never a bad thing. Uh, right. Okay. That's that done. Let's go and see if the crab pots of done anything have we managed to grab anything useful in the crab pots or are they just empty and as we go around we will try and pick up a few bits and bobs cloth if we can that will be the most handy of all the things but do you know what the goodies are useful as well okay crab pot one hello this is the shallow one so what do we have in here it's a rock crab okay that might not be what we're after but okay we'll do that we'll leave that around because we might as well and then in the slightly deeper crab pot, what do we have? Some more rock crabs. Okay, take all of those. I don't think that's what we're after. I don't think that's what we need. But do you know what? We're going to pop them into the thing anyway, just to make sure. 
I don't think that's going to work. But Joe, it's worth a go. There are plenty of rock crabs around. I think that one is some sort of special, like, monster crab or something. But do you know what? We'll just pop these in anyway. There you go. No. Is it not in the right kind of orientation or whatever? Is it going to be, I don't know, something a bit like that? No, I think it needs a big crab and two little ones. That's what I think. I'm trying to look at that picture there. Does that match anything in the encyclopedia? Because, yeah, look, there's a big one there and two little ones there. So does is there anything in the fishing yeah, almanac or whatever that looks a bit like that terrifying crab beast? Okay, it could be this crab here. I'm not entirely sure, of course, I'm guessing, but it could be that one. It does look a little bit like it might have a bit of rock on its head and it's got these kind of weird bits coming out of it. I'm not quite sure what they are, twigs or coral or something, I don't quite know, but you catch that around Gale Cliffs, which is where we are. However, you catch that one at a depth of 0 to 5 meters, and I think maybe our current crab pots are a little bit too deep for that. So maybe, maybe what we do is, hang on, go back to there. Uh, we'll take those out. We'll grab these back from you. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. And then we'll get ourselves the crab pots and we'll make them a bit shallower. So pick that up because I think yeah, that was 5.2 meters. That's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Where's the other one? There it is. Right. So go and grab that one. If it does have another crab in it, that would be very handy. But nope, that's fine. Right, pick that up and then we'll drop those off at a shallower depth. So yeah, less than five meters. Right, four, three meters. Plenty of crabs around there and hardly any around here. Look, oh, that's got a bit deep around there, but 4.4 meters. Plenty of crabs. Okay, right. Happy with that. Not so happy with the time of day, if I'm being completely honest. But, uh, okay, right, let's, I think, maybe head round here again to our favourite place, the lovely kind of abandoned dock, or whatever it is, over there. And we'll have another little rest over there. And, um, yeah, get up in the morning. And we'll try and maybe find some more cloth, actually. But hang on, so go into there. And, uh, yeah, have a bit of a rest. And, uh, yeah, we'll just try and find some more cloth. This is exactly what I kind of wanted to do in this particular part. Just kind of go poodle about the place and just do a bit of exploring and see what's around. Is there anything over there that could be handy? There is something over there. We kind of just possibly graze the dock a bit there, but never mind. What's that? Is that you? That's cloth. That's rolls of cloth. That's precisely what we need. Yes, we will have all of that. Thank you very much. All of this and more, if you would be so kind. Uh, that's one bit. Oh, well, no, that's a research part. Oh, okay, we'll have that as well. Um, but, I mean, right now, the cloth is kind of more important. Can we actually have the cloth now, please? Oh, that was a wonderful haul. We got four lots of cloth out of it and two research parts. That was completely fantabulous. Well done. That was very good. Right, is it worth heading into here? Now, I know the big beastie lives around here. Is it worth popping into here and just doing us There, there is the big beastie. We're going to run away from the big beastie. It came out from under the waterfall and now I'm scared. I think let's, let's go away. Let's go away from the big terrifying beastie. We're just going to kind of head in this direction. Just, you know, go around here. Everything is fine. It's all good. Are we calm now? I think we're okay. Has it followed us? I can't see it. Okay, right, there's there's some fish over here. Can we just do some fishing whilst we're here? Just grab any old fish just to make a bit of money, possibly, while we're here. Um, what is that? A wreck fish. Okay, yeah, we'll have um, we'll have a couple of those, please, because they could make us a bit of money. I think that's all we're going to fit, but that's okay. Right, so, I mean, that was a relatively quick day. That's been a very speedy day. Oh, crikey, nearly got hit by lightning. That would have <laughs> that would have soured things. Uh, right, fish market, sell those things on. 147 money, that's pretty good. And go to the floating dock, go to there. That's precisely the amount we needed. Oh, this is absolutely perfect. And do you know what? I think they do sell a piece of refined metal. I think we might be able to get our boat upgraded to the final level. That would be completely amazing. Hang on, before we do that, go and do some research. So where were we looking? Oh yeah, the pots. Got two more. Let's get a complex crab pot. We'll have a bit of that. And then a massive crab pot. Yay for massive crabs. Okay, so let's use the research parts. Uh, right, go to the shipyard. Uh, no, not no, not the shipyard. It was the... No, it is the shipyard. Yeah, sorry. And then go to there. Yes, they are selling refined metal. 425 monies apiece. But if we do that, we then still will have enough money left over to then upgrade our boat. Because that costs quite a lot as well. And we could even 
pick up some more research parts and get some more research done as well. I mean, that is a possibility. We do have the money and we're not doing anything else with it. So is that what we do? I do like how the traveling merchant down here is saying, the most successful captains know how to push their vessels to the limit. Is yours running at peak efficiency? Because I'm captaining the little boat, I'm sure it's not running at peak efficiency. I'm sure we're doing a terrible job. But do you know what? It's still afloat and it's not sunk just yet. So we must be doing something right, I think. I think we're going to have all of these. We're going to have all of that. So go to storage. We'll have that metal. Thank you. And, oh, now, can we afford the two research parts as well? I'm not entirely sure. I do want to find a bit of that as well. I'd love to find another bit of this. I want to find another bit of that map and see exactly what, yeah, what it's pointing at. Is there an X on another bit of the map telling us where to go to get the treasure? That would be exciting. Um, do we pick up, maybe for now, we'll grab one research part for now. Just a little treat, little treat to ourselves. Research, and then I think that means we can get that done. So the massive crab pot is now done, which means we've got access to the reinforced crab pot. It lasts for nine days. Wow, that's very good. So you can leave that and just, you know, it'll be fine. Just leave it for a good long time. That's really good. And now, possibly even more excitingly, we can get the tier four hull upgrade. Let's go and grab that bit of metal pop it into there one and a half grand so we are going to be a little bit poorer than we are now i mean yeah, that's still a lot of money we still have about 600 ish left but we're going to have a very very fancy boat let's do it let's do it purchase that upgrade that's very exciting additional slots configured how are we looking go to the shipyard what does the boat look like oh look can we get a new light now can we get the new incandescent array uh, i think if we sell that light and sell that light, what do we get for that? 200, 100, so about 300 for that. So it's not going to cost that much money if we sell those two on. Hang on, move that down to there. I think, yes, we get ourselves the fancy incandescent array. So it's got a greater range and it kicks out more light. Yeah, absolutely. So sell that. You're welcome to that. Sell that. And then pick that up. It's going to take three hours to install, but that's okay. So do that. Install as a fancy new light. That's much better. Look at the amount of room we've got. That's a ridiculous amount of room. That is wonderful. And now we can maybe start loading things up. I mean, a couple more engine spaces would not go amiss. We could put that into there so it doesn't clog things up. And I think that's it for now. I don't think we could do too much else. Uh, yeah, that's what it's going to give us. So two more engine spots. I don't think... Can we, oh no, if we get two of those in there, they're nine, so that's, what's that, another 18? We might be able to get over 100 knots. We'll have a very speedy little fishing boat zooming about the place. But yeah, we can't do that quite now because we are lacking a few resources, but that's okay. But yeah, we'll try and get that done. Then maybe cargo, then rod spaces, then light spaces. But there we go, got a fancy new light on board as well. That is wonderful. And the boat does change. When you do upgrade the boat, it does sort of change in appearance. I think before we did that upgrade, we had a blue roof and that was slightly different. But now we've got a slightly fancier boat. That's all very exciting. And yet yeah, that's what we saved the money for. That's why you do all that kind of stuff. That's looking pretty good. Okay, brand new day has rolled around. We are going to go and check those crab pots. But also, can we just pick up this wood? Because now we've gone through all of our stock of wood... And we need a bit more to do some more upgrades. So if we're going past it, we might as well grab it. And there's loads of room now. There's so much space to store all this stuff. Remember when we had a little tiny boat and we could fit a few fish in it and that was kind of it? And look at it now. We've got two huge bits of wood in there already. And there's room for a lot more. We can just tuck that in. I mean, under there, look. There's loads of room in the middle. It's That's wonderful. It's very exciting. It's, it's really helpful. And then, yes, come on. Give us whatever one of those terrifying crab monster things was. We just look around here. Those kind of weird things keep appearing. I don't like those so much. But yeah, if we just go around here. It's on the other side of that, isn't it? On the other side of the outcrop. So our crab pots should be over here. Oh, advanced fishing is done. I completely forgot about that. Scrolly scroll. Rods will reel fish in 15% more effectively. That's really good. So essentially 15% quicker. We're going to fish with rods 15% faster, which is, of course, always a good thing. Right, what's in here? Rock crabs. Okay, take all of those. This isn't exactly what I wanted to see from this. It's not exciting. Where's the other stuff? 
and more rock crabs. Okay. Right, no, that, that's not what I wanted. That's not exciting enough. I wanted more exciting things. Uh, okay, never mind, never mind. Right, let's sail around. I don't know, let's... Can we get the telescope out? Get the telescope out, because it, it's not that late in the day. Can we head over there and just grab something exciting? A blackfin tuna? Is there anything we've never seen before? We've never really looked out to sea over in that direction, I don't think. Is it worth just nipping out? tiger mackerel <laughs> that's what one of the hungry people wanted wasn't it they wanted tiger mackerel is it worth just nipping out over there somewhere and just grabbing something a little bit unusual i can't see anything overly exciting there's some sturgeon uh what was that oceanic perch uh stonefish or something over there another stonefish uh oh that's that's a bit of a shame isn't it more tiger mackerel maybe we go out and grab Oh, hang on. Ooh, hang on. What was that? There's something over there that potentially could be exciting. Uh, oh, viper fish. I think maybe the... Where are those things that we just thought? It's really, when the seas are like this, it's really... Odd. Where are they? The blackfin tuna. They might be worth quite a bit. Let's go and grab ourselves a blackfin tuna or two. Oh, we've got a bearded mackerel. Okay. Are we fishing mackerel? Oh, I thought we were getting something else. Uh, bearded mackerel, the wispy tendrils sprouting from its mouth and flanks continue to writhe long after the fish has stopped flailing. Uh, <laughs> who writes these things? That's incredibly, incredibly grim. Um, I don't think this is the, um, the tuna that we we're after. I think they're mackerel. What happened to the tuna? That's not the tuna that we're looking for. Uh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. It's gone relatively still now, so we should be okay to find it, but... Um, I might possibly have lost it. Blackmouth salmon. Hang on. That looks like the fish that we're after. Blackmouth salmon. That looks like the one we're after for the weird statue thingamajig, the stone slab. They look like the same sort of thing. There's a whale. Okay, please don't crash into us because that would be bad. Right, where is that? Right there. Is that what we need? It looks really like it. Please be four of these. Please. Yeah, look, it looks really like the, the thing, the picture. Okay, there's one. We're not going to leave this. It's going to be terribly dark when we leave it. There's two. No game. No. Right. Blackmouth salmon. I'm fairly certain that's what we want to look for. Can we see any more? Can we see any more spots where there might be some blackmouth salmon around? Um, I can't see anything at all. Uh, right, it, it, it's bleak at the minute. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. But that's where we kind of need to go eventually. Uh, okay, no, there's no blackmouth salmon around. Okay, that's a bit of a shame because that would have been really good to get four of those. But uh, okay, I think what we should do is it's it's quite a long way away and it's going to be very dark and a bit scary. But I think we have to drop those off right now. Are they just going to rot and fall apart, aren't they? So. Let's take a very big trip over here, and we could use haste, but I don't think we're going to, because our sanity is already going to be tumbling. We don't want to make it worse, so let's just be big and brave and head over in this direction. <laughs> I don't like it already. Definitely don't like it. Yep, already weird wibbly things are happening. However, the giant big light appears to be keeping our sanity pretty low. We're looking okay. Uh, where are we going? In that direction. 12.7 kilometers. Really far away. Good grief. Okay, I don't think we're doing very well in terms of sanity now. The edge of the screen has gone a bit red and wibbly. And the eye at the top is completely panicking. Look at that. It's freaking out and looking around everywhere. It's not having a fun time. How far away are we? 7.1 kilometers sort of in that direction. We're going to do it. We're going to go. We're going to have to just you know, be big and brave and not be bothered by the terrifying whooshy things that are appearing everywhere. I don't know if there's any kind of ghost boats or anything coming around here. But you know what? We're just going to have to dodge round them if there are. We could, I suppose, run away. What's that there? Are you, are you lovely salmon? No, you're not the salmon we're after. That's not the salmon we're looking for. Right, just keep going. Keep going. Keep your sanity. Everything is fine. I can see the red. I can see the red of the thing that we're looking for. It's around here. I think it's these. I am fairly certain it's these. So, um, yeah, four large, powerful fish shapes. I mean, looking at that there, they look like four different fish. That looks like that to me. 
that looks like that. It's even got the kind of the open mouth kind of expression. That does look a bit like that. Um, these things are really confusing. There's two there, but I mean, there's a lot of room. But that looks completely different to what those shapes are there. Four large, powerful fish shapes. Four great fishes running through the rock's base. I mean, yeah, that looks different to that. That and that. They all look like four different fish. Are they the same? F I'm really confused. I, I don't know. I'm confused by that now. And also it's late and I'm terrified. Right, hang on. We're just going to try and get to the pontoon thing. It's only over here. It's only around the corner. Come on, we can make it. It's going to be time to get up soon by the time we get there. But uh, okay, dodge around the dangerous jellyfish and just get to the pontoon of safety. Okay, there's the pontoon. There's the pontoon. Pull up to the pontoon and yeah, everything's gone a bit weird because we're so panicked. And just, oh, hang on, fish market first. Uh, sell all that because we can't do anything with that. That's fine. Thank you for the money. I'm going to have a bit of a sleep. Not for very long. It was a short sleep. Uh, can we just rest again? Rest. Yeah, there you go. So our sanity is now pretty good. 8.34. We had a bit of a lion. That's quite nice. So yeah, I don't know now if it is the black fin salmon or black mouth tuna. What was it? The stuff we just found. I don't know if it was those. I'm not entirely sure. Those things are quite hard to fathom out. So I think what we'll do is we'll finish things up for now because you know, while we might not have moved the story on much, we did complete the goal for the not occultist in gold. They had their lovely crab that they just sort of devoured raw, which was a bit weird, but you know, each their own. That's what they want to do. They love all that. So we did that. That got sorted out. And then we are trying our best to sort out the, the sort of mysterious rock slab things. Although, yeah, they are quite puzzling, I'll be honest. Um, so, yeah, we're not quite got down to the bottom of those then, but never mind. But the big thing is that our boat is now really, really fantastic. We're four upgrades away from everything being done. In fact, did we pick up... Yeah, we picked up some wood, didn't we? We picked up some wood. So, uh, yeah, engine-wise... Yeah, absolutely. Two bits of wood, bit of wood going into there, bit of wood going into there. Three more bits of metal required. And then what are we going to do next? What's the next logical thing? I mean, I suppose cargo spaces would be the next useful thing. That might help quite a bit. So if we grab that and just put a bit of wood into there and yeah, there we go. So we're working our way toward the final four upgrades to our boat. And when they're done, that's as good as it's going to be. It's going to be as strong as it's going to be and as quick as it can possibly be and as well lit as it can be and as big as it can be. And I think you're know, getting that final tier four hull upgrade thing done was quite a big step. I feel a bit more secure now knowing that we can take a few hits. So maybe next time what we'll do is now we had a bit of a break. We will head out to the Twisted Strand. We know that we can go there now. It's all going to be fine. I think what we'll do is we'll head back... I think, okay, here's the plan. We'll head back around there, pick up those crab pots. Hope they've got the thing in for the mysterious slab thing, although I'm not holding out much hope. But we'll give that a go, and then we'll head back to the marrows, and then you know, sell all the crabs or whatever, then have a night's sleep. Then maybe head to Steel Point and look around here for a bit, and then we'll go to the Twisted Strand. There's a little kind of point there where we can sort of dock and such. That could be quite good, but that's what we'll do. So we'll kind of head a bit east, pick those things up, then into the middle, then around there, and then over here. And we'll see what we can do from there. If we do figure out the mystery of these sort of stone slab things, and that's great. If not, never mind. They are quite puzzling, to be honest. So there we go. We'll give it a go. But uh, yeah, that's what we'll do next time. Let's go and try and move the story on a little bit this time around. Oh, to Twisted Strand. Into the mangroves. I think that's going to be all sort of like um, swampy and such like, isn't it? Which could be quite good. And there's probably going to be a big monster thing in there as well that would like to eat us for dinner. So there we go. That'll be a fun thing to do, which won't freak us out at all. But we'll do all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Dredge. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I'll see you next time. I just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of head gear on. Let's suppress the pants off that thing. I always knew hiding at a park bench would be no good. Oh no, it's a terrifying disc thing. The aliens shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair, which is just ridiculous.